Hi, this is Anthony, and in this video I'm going to do a review on Firefox 42 and 43, which Mozilla released on November 3rd and December 15, 2015, respectively. I was away on vacation overseas for about seven weeks and didn't get a chance to do these reviews when they came out, so I'm going to cover both these reviews in this video, but I will try and keep it as short as possible. Alright, so let's get down to it. So first off, in Firefox 42, Mozilla has enhanced tracking protection in private browsing. Uh, this will help block certain web elements that may be recording your browsing behavior on websites. So if you open a private browsing window, you will see this page and uh, it will be basically indicating that tracking protection is on. So when browsing, if you see this shield in the address bar, it means that Firefox is blocking certain web elements that could be tracking your activity. So you, you may notice certain web elements missing since these elements allow third parties to track your behavior. Uh, you can basically use the um, or click on the control center icons in the address bar and it will display um, if the site is secure or not. And uh, if any of these uh, tracking elements on the website are basically tracking your behavior in the private browsing mode. In Firefox 43, this tracking protection feature has been enhanced. And if you check your privacy options and click on the Change Block List button, you will see two options. Uh, the first option essentially um, you know, allows some trackers, whereas the second option blocks all known trackers. So next up is one-click muting, and you will notice an audio indicator on tabs when you're visiting your, you know, websites that have audio on it. And uh, you can basically just click on that uh, speaker icon to essentially mute or unmute uh, that tab or video on that tab. Uh, this can be useful when, especially when visiting websites that autoplay videos or have video ads. When Firefox 40 was released, Mozilla announced some changes in terms of enhancing the security of the browser by introducing extension signing, um, essentially for add-ons, in an effort to counter malicious downloads via add-ons or extensions. Uh, they had essentially set up a timeline and it was uh, you know, expected that in Firefox 43, Mozilla would disable the extensions by default. So they have now enforced extension signing in uh, Firefox 43, but you can still, or uh, you still do have the option to override it using about colon config. And in Firefox 44, this override will not be available. As you can see, I already have two Firefox extensions that have been affected by this change. Uh, if you use you know, many Firefox add-ons, you will notice that many of these add-ons will be disabled by default. And many uh, Firefox users have criticized this change. Uh, so next up, uh, Mozilla has introduced the 64-bit version for Firefox for Windows. Uh, Firefox is now available in 80 different languages and um, they have a separate download page and uh, you can check the description section of this uh, video for the link. Um, I'm essentially you know, sticking with uh, the 32-bit version and I'm in no rush to uh, upgrade to 64 mainly because of compatibility issues and I will test it on my Windows 10 system and probably create a separate video on it. In a moment, I will share the results of the browser benchmark test that I ran. Um, but uh, these changes that I have uh, covered in this video are some of the notable changes um, you know, that were implemented in Firefox 42 and 43. But for a full list of changes, uh, you can check the Firefox release notes. And I will leave a link off of the release notes in the description section of this video. So now let me share the results of the browser benchmark tests on Firefox 42 and 43 as compared to Google Chrome. So as you can see from the overall scores, uh, Google Chrome did better than Firefox overall. For most of the tests though, uh, the scores were relatively close, but on the graphics test as you can see, Firefox did not perform that well. 
and the graphics tests really uh, measure GPU performance and include HTML5, Canvas, WebGL, and SVG. Of course, these benchmark test results and scores will be different for different computers, uh, but um, that's it for now. You will find you know, my previous uh, Firefox reviews as well as tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check them out. And I uh, hope you found this uh, video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.